Have you guys ever used one of these gimmicky painting rollers? I've seen these at big box stores all the time. I've never actually bought one because I don't think it's going to work that well, but I saw it and I thought this would be perfect for our tube review video. So let's test it out and see if it actually works. As I'm unboxing this, I just wanted to thank today's sponsor for this video, Catherine, honey. I really appreciate you allowing me to make these videos and blow a bunch of money on these random tools. Uh, and uh, I love you. All right, so we're looking at five minutes and 52 seconds in order to paint this one wall. And it took us 12 dips back into the paint tray. Now let's let this dry and then set up our tool and then see how it compares to this. All right, so now our wall is nicely and nice and dry. So what we have to do is just set up our easy roller. Um, so the way this works is that this thing goes into the bucket here, just like that. Then they give you this little grease packet that it says that you have to grease this little shaft. <laughs> oh my God. Go like this. Uh, if you don't have, you know, if you lost that little pouch, just use your grease from home. And then this piece goes into here, like this, like that clips in, this goes into here like this and then you have this little plunger in the back that will suck the paint in. All right, then we pull this out. Then in order to get the paint to move up, I'm gonna go like this first to get the air up there. And then to get the paint to move up, you have to press this little trigger here hearing the paint. So I'm just gonna start rolling it like slowly like this. That's the thing, you know, usually with your paint tray, you, you kind of get it going in that. But I think what we're trying to do here is avoid using the paint tray. So I think I'm just gonna push this up and then kind of keep doing this. Oh, you start seeing the paint come through. <laughs> First paint drops, let's go. Okay, I'll keep going like this. I just need to get it saturated first, right? And I'm not gonna lie, we're like halfway done with this too. All right, so we got this nice and saturated. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip this into it again. So we're going right back into here like that. Pull this back. Just cause basically that whole tube went in for whatever we got there and to saturate our, our roller. So this is our second go at the bucket here. There. All right. I mean, my, my goal is not to cover it completely, I guess. It's just, I want to see how easy it is to actually work with this thing. I gotta say the roller itself kind of sucks. Like the actual, like, roller sucks like it's leaving this weird texture on our wall here here Alex you want to kind of come closer and look at that it's leaving this weird texture that usually you don't get with a nap roller and you can't just get any roller for this you have to use this exact roller heavier on one side of the roller here than it is on the other. You 
see us leaving this weird streak here. I can see people in the comments being like, bro, like, you don't know what you're doing. You know, you're doing this wrong, whatever. Honestly, that makes no sense for, as a comment because I am literally never used this before and I'm just picking it up. I know how to paint a wall. I can paint the wall like a boss. But if I can't figure out then an average person, and this is who I make these videos for, average people out there, they're just walking around for these painting pros. Um, and that's the content that I'm making, who I'm making the content for. And honestly, like so far this, um, I'm not too impressed with this. And it's a little bit like super weird to use. And my honest review on this is they absolutely suck and never buy this stuff. It is awful. Um, basically what you have to do is make sure that you're pumping this to make sure that your roller is saturated. So as you're rolling it on, you then have to roll it completely dry before you know to, until you figure out that you have to squeeze this couple of times again. Or as you keep rolling, you have to keep squeezing this, but then you're never really rolling it out. Like, you just don't get as nice of a finish first. And second, they use this weird like poly roller for this because they wanna make sure that it's porous enough for the paint to come through. And it's leaving this weird texture on, on our wall that I absolutely hate. It's becoming like a textured wall. Um, so I think this is a gimmicky tool. I would not use this and I would not recommend this to anybody out there. That is my true assessment on this. And my Winnie grade for this tool, my Winnie score is a 2.5. Don't buy this.